Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome. So good to see you and meet you. Yes, you too. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> We're excited. So hello, everybody. I see you guys are popping on. Um, I was telling Amy, most of you guys know I do lives every single day at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And when I set the time today, I set it for 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time instead of 12. So but I see you guys are popping in here. So we're going to give you all a few minutes and I'm going to get everything set up for us here. So welcome. My name is Terry Lightsey. Uh, welcome to Decoupage Queens Creative Hour. We are so excited for the first time to have Amy with us from the Painted Spindle. So welcome. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here. We're so excited. I love it. Well, I enjoy Creative Hour as we were talking a little bit before because I get to see so many different ideas and different takes on what they do with, you know, our decoupage queen rice paper, scrapbook papers, what have you. So you haven't been on with us before, so I'm super excited to see what tricks and, you know, you have in store for us and all, what we can learn from you. So I'm super excited. Well, so, hopefully I'm Go ahead. Hopefully I have something uh, interesting. I, I, I love working with decoupage paper and there's so many pretty ones uh, at decoupage queen. So I um, am excited to, to create with it today. Uh, and then as usual, y'all, so I try my very best not to interrupt the creators when they're here. So I will be popping your name right here. So hi, Sharon, and hi, Donna Sue, and hello, Sheila. So I put your names up here, and that's just our little way of saying hello to you and, you know, acknowledging that you're here, and we appreciate you for spending time with us today. Uh, just, but be rest assured, if you have any questions for Amy, I absolutely will read them off to her. And then also, if you see the little ticker here, at the end of Creative Hour, every Saturday, Decoupage Queen always gives away a goodie bag full of Decoupage Queen rice papers. And all you have to do is make sure you're following the Painted Spindle, which I just popped in that link for you guys right now. And also make sure you're following Decoupage Queen. And when you do that, I get your name on the wheel. At the end of Creative Hour, when Amy's done creating today, I will spin that wheel and we'll pick a winner. Awesome. So, Amy, if you're ready, I will let you have a minute to switch your camera. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all, yeah. all for joining. So go ahead and there you go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. So hello everyone, thank y'all for joining. I'm so glad to be here. Um, so today what I thought um, I would do is take this box um, that I've already painted white, just an off white color. And um, I am going to use this to hold all of my uh, paint brushes. Um, hello everybody. Everybody's popping in here saying yeah, hello to hi. you. <laughs> it's so exciting. Um, so I, this, I just wanted something pretty to put all my paintbrushes in. Right now I have like, uh, you know, four or five different jars and containers full of them. Uh, so I thought, you know, this would be something pretty that I could just put everything in. So uh, the paper that I've chosen today is this beautiful lavender field and it looks like it's a, it could be a, a, a vineyard, um, possibly, um, there's like a silo and a, and a old building over here. It's just, I loved it. It's so pretty. Um, so I picked this one and I thought I would put that in the back here. 
And then I also thought this would be pretty to coordinate with it. Um, so I think I'm going to do this on the outsides. And then um, I also picked this one. And I think I'll do that on the insides, on the sides, because I thought it kind of matched the lavender field, how they're kind of striped. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to be very pretty. And then also up here, I am going to stencil, uh, do like a raised stencil with some uh, iron paste. Um, and I'm going to spell out brushes and maybe put some, you know, decorative little scrolls or something on there. So that's, that's my plan. So I'm going to get started. Um, I guess first I want to do is pick and it actually fits really good. I think I'm going to do the, like the silo part. I'm not real sure. It might be a church, but anyway, this beautiful building, I'm going to put that kind of over on this side. So that way, see, that way I'm going to stencil brushes right here. And I thought that would be really pretty. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to tear my paper that way. Um, it gives it, it blends in better. Sometimes when you tear it, instead of just cutting it straight with a pair of scissors, um, it seems to blend into the background better. Um, and of course, I've already painted it white because, you know, of course, most of you know, when you use rice paper, um, if you'll paint either the back of your paper or your, your item white, it helps the image on the rice paper show up much better. So, um, so I've already done that ahead of time. That way you didn't have to sit there and, and watch that part since everybody pretty much knows how to do that. And I'm just mar making a mark of where I want to tear it. And I, you know, like I said, I like to just give it a rough tear Put you in the camera here. So I just kind of do a rough tear. You can also use a uh, wet paintbrush. Um, just dip it in some water and then it helps it tear a little easier. But the rice paper seems to tear pretty good. So I don't really ever have an issue. Um, and there's also, I have, a, it's a jagged ruler and I've not ever tried it before. So maybe this would be a very good time to try it. Um, so it's this this jagged ruler. Yeah, like the scrapbooking rulers. Yeah. For the, yeah. yeah. And I, I not, love so, those. Yeah, I think I might I might try that. I've not ever tried it before. I've had it, but I've never <laughs> used it. So let's see. Oh yeah. So that just gives it a very nice jagged mm -hmm. edge very similar to just but it actually is a little easier so so yeah i like that and then it also has this side that's not quite as as jagged so you have an option but yeah that's a pretty neat and then i also can save this part because i could definitely find some other use for that yeah, I thought this paper was just beautiful. It's so pretty. We did that whole series um, a couple of seasons ago, the whole lavender series. So, yeah, everything coordinates uh, yes. that you, yeah, you picked. So, yeah, those are just beautiful, beautiful colors. <laughs> Cindy said... That's a cool ruler. It looked dangerous at first when Amy brought it out. <laughs> I know. Well, it is a, a, just a tad bit sharp on this side. This side really isn't, but, but yeah, but you know, it, it works well. So, you know, definitely uh, adult supervision is required. So, <laughs> so there, that, that's a very pretty, you know, that would be pretty framed. It, it would, pretty, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful image. Okay, so I am going to, let me see. What's the best angle? I'm just going to use some, some decoupage medium. A 
Hello, Judy Stalker. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I know it's Easter weekend. So we yes. appreciate you being here. Do you have any um, any plans for the weekend, Amy? Um, uh, we went and uh, visited my uh, in-laws uh, yesterday. Well, actually, Thursday after work, um, because I had off yesterday. So we were able to go visit with them overnight. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to go visit my parents. So, oh, nice. Yeah. My son, uh, I, our, our son is uh, 17 and he just got his license. Well, so he's a junior in high school, but he just got his first job and he actually has to work a double uh, on Sunday yeah. on Easter. So, yes. So he is not going to get to go, but you know, he's getting a good taste of adulthood. So Ex yes, exactly. Adulting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's as thrilled as he thought he would be. Yeah. I remember those days when, you know, it seemed well now anymore. I, I think it's, you know, everybody has to, because anymore, most places are all open on all holidays but yes. i remember the days when it was like okay the younger ones the ones that don't have any kids were the ones who got the shifts and it was like well wait a minute <laughs> right yeah he's a it's his you know it's his first job and he's a a food server a waiter i don't know whatever they call themselves nowadays mm -hmm. right but, um, but yeah, it's just here at our local uh, restaurant, one of them, and um, and he he's liking making money. Yes, um, yes. But he's getting a good taste of uh, trying to find a good good he's taste of a, adulting, isn't he? Yes, yes, <laughs> he is. But he did he bought his first pair of uh, of shoes with his. Uh, First paycheck. So I bet he learns how to take care of things that he's worked hard to pay for real quick. Exactly. <laughs> so, so I'm just putting a, a layer of the, the decoupage medium on top. I do remember that first paycheck, though, and you were able to do, you know, it was like, wow, this is my money. I get to do, you know, what yes. I want, what I need, you yeah. know. So. But they real, I think they also realize very quickly how quick it goes. Yes. And how it doesn't last, you know, it doesn't last very long. So you have to pick what you want to buy. It's very, so very true. Yes, yes. Okay, so I've got that down. That, that is so pretty. I just love that. It's going to be a very nice little container for my paintbrushes, and I'm going to seal it really well so that, um, you know, it's the paper's not going to get messed up when I throw my brushes in. So I think I want to do the stripes going up like this. So I'm just going to kind of measure. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. There. I'm just going to kind of measure about where I need to cut it. Yeah, when I was looking at um, at all the available papers, I, I had a very hard time trying to pick something. I think I had lots of things in my cart. <laughs> and then I had to go back and like, okay, and start weeding them out. Well, I can right. do this. And so, gosh, there's just so many beautiful options. Oh my goodness. Nikki Hunter says, I bought a black jumpsuit with my whole first pay. Still got it, just not the body that fits it. <laughs> oh gosh. You still have the jumpsuit, the very first, your with very your first, first paycheck. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's, that's great. Gosh, I don't, 
I don't remember. I don't, I guess I didn't buy anything all that memorable with my. I don't think I remember one. either, right? Yeah, I don't remember. Always kind of awkward trying to get your your hands in these, especially in the little corners and yeah, yeah. where they meet in the. <laughs> Even though this is a pretty big box, it's still kind of kind of awkward. Now this ruler is really coming in handy, right? I've never even thought I have one sitting right here. As soon as you pulled yours out, I'm looking at mine. I've never even thought to use it with my uh rice paper so oh yeah well i don't remember who i i saw somebody use it and i was like you know that's that's pretty neat um so i had ordered one but you know i i kind of did had been focusing on painting um trying to get that going and um so i hadn't used it so I, i'm glad i i'm getting to use it now i really like it Let me see. Did I? Well, I think that'll that'll be good. I cut it a little bit too short there, but I can piece it. But that part's not going to even be seen, so I think we'll be good. So Annette says she's never saw a ruler like that, and it's interesting. Uh, it's it's used a lot in scrapbooking, Annette. So if you're looking for it, it, you're probably, you know, like if you're in Hobby Lobby or something like that, in the scrapbooking section, they have a ton of different um, shapes like that because all the jaggeds, you know, are, are different on on different ones. But yeah, they're, they're really neat. Yeah, very, very handy. Um, yeah, I got it on Amazon, so they have them as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there, there's, you know, there's so many um, tools out there for, for crafters and um, and you know, oh, so many oh. like scrapbookers and crafters and all. Sometimes you know, you can just use uh, interchange your your items. Mm hmm. Gadgets and gadgets galore. Yes. <laughs> Whatever makes it easier, I think. Exactly. So the decoupage factory says, remember all the old scissors that had all the different edges too? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Hi, Ruth. How are you? I'm glad you joined. Um, yes, they were... Um, Oh gosh, what were they called? Didn't they have a certain name? Uh, but yes, I remember those. I don't know the, if they had a certain name, but I do know, yeah, I know I actually have a couple, uh, I have a pair that I still use sometimes, which is funny because I've used the scissors, but I have always forget about my ruler. Oh, yeah. I, I know it. That some of the scissors would make like a rick rack, like that rick rack yes. that you can. Uh huh. Yes. yes. I remember my mother using that. Um, she would put that, sew it onto like see uh, hems and stuff for for decorative mm -hmm. to make my pants or whatever look look decorative. So, but that's probably telling my age. <laughs> A lot of people may not have ever heard of it. Um, Ruth, are my set a pair of Fiskars? I'm not, let me see if I have them sitting here. I don't know if they're actually Fiskars. I think they're just a, oh, I do have them sitting here. Let's see if there's a brand on them. No, they're not Fiskars because they're not orange. These are green and white. So 
but I, again, they're on Amazon. If you search, you, you, there's a bunch of different ones. So Tina said that they are called pinking shears. My mom there used to use them for cutting material. <clears throat> yes. I knew there was a name. Um, you mean the ruler, Annette? I, I'm not, I, mine is metal as well. So do you recommend metal over plastic? I don't know that I've ever used a plastic one. Mine is metal. And then, well, you see Amy's. So I'm not sure if one is, you know, necessarily better than the other. I don't know, but mine is metal. Hi, Drucy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either. I, you know, I, I would think that the metal would be sharper and might yeah. be a cleaner cut. Maybe maybe it's easier to cut with the, the metal, but I'm not sure. Let's see. <laughs> Perfect. So do you have plans for Easter, Terry? No, um, I don't have any, you know, littles anymore. My, my boys are um, 23 and 22. So I don't, I don't think we'll be doing anything. I I was actually, when I was live yesterday, I said, you know, if you guys don't have any plans or, you know, if you want, I because usually I am live on Sundays. So I think I might just, you know, pop on and with a friend of mine, Nicole, and we just, you know, might go live to keep, you know, keep everyone company if no yeah. one else is doing anything. Just, you know, we did that um, for, you know, I think it was Christmas Eve and, you know, because sometimes not, you know, people don't have stuff to do or, right. you know, so we might as well all keep each other company. <laughs> yeah, that would, I bet that would be fun. And then, you know, some people, if they get together, they can, you know, watch some crafting together. Right. Mm hmm. Hi, Robin. <clears throat> Hello, Callie. So how often do you, are you live? Do you do lives very often or, or uh, not very often on a set schedule or anything or? Um, well, I was doing a weekly live, um, and then uh, just kind of started not doing quite as many. Um, but then when I switched over to, you know, more painting, um, I haven't really, I haven't done any because, you know, I'm not good enough to teach anybody or they probably don't want to see my process <laughs> Aww. it would probably scare them to see oh my goodness but you know but eventually i think i might do um you know some uh some painting ones um and then occasionally you know throw in some uh crafting ones as well um you know what I do say to that, though, Amy, you know, everybody starts somewhere. So, you know, sometimes seeing the process and seeing the growth, you know, it relates to a lot of folks. So I wouldn't, you know, 
you never know. You might, you know, you might get somebody interested in, in hey, I, I can do that. You know what I mean? And grow yeah. with you. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, you know, on uh, some of my lives, you know, like I said, I would, I like to take the rice paper and um, whatever images on there, say it be a, an angel or, um, you know, a flower or whatever. And I would just kind of accentuate it with more paint, like make it bigger or, or add a little more to it or whatever. Um, and that's kind of where I started with uh, the painting part. So, uh, you know, I, I really like doing that. Like, I know I made some ornaments at Christmas with some poinsettia uh, rice paper. And, um, you know, I just embellished the, the poinsettia with some more paint and, um, and, you know, made it bigger and made more leaves on it. And um, so it just... Yeah. Yeah, so stuff like that, um, you know, I, I and enjoy. And I think being... that's great too because I think a lot of times because I am a, I I haven't I don't do lives with it either, but I'm a watercolor artist, oh, okay. and um, I think you know sometimes too people think like oh they can't paint they can't watercolor they can't because I can't draw, and it it's not about that like what you just said you know embellishing and in adding to it that's all part of you know yeah part of the fun too so yes. yeah I love that yeah or adding. Um you know, like taking some metallic paint yes. and going over a petal with some green metallic paint, you know, just to bring it out uh, is, is fun. So, and that's kind of where a lot of people get started. Um, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then you think, oh, you know, this, I like this, maybe I could, you know, so yeah, yeah just, uh, it's, uh, just fun to, you know, just uh, add to it and, you know, make it, it make it yours. So, yep. Hello, Shy. Hello, Cherokee. Hello, Cheryl. So I realized I've got, I did a floral in here and then I did a stripe over here, but you know, it's okay because it still looks good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and I think, um, let's see, I think I have enough. So I might, um, I might do, I'm, I'm thinking here, um, and this is always how it goes, is I'll start thinking of, um, I start changing up, you know, I have ideas of what I'm going to do and then, but I never have a set, you know, hundred percent. This is what I'm doing. I just kind of figure Let it out as I go. So, mm -hmm. so this, I think I'm going to do, um, not the full sides, but I'm going to do partial and then I'm going to add some raised stencil around it. I think that will look pretty. You know, I, I did, sitting here think, go ahead. Sorry. I was sitting here thinking, um, you know, I hope that I, you know, didn't make a mistake by uh, painting the whole thing white already, because what if, you know, what if I finished too early, but I'm already 30 minutes in and I'm still, <laughs> I still have stuff to do. So. so those of you who are in the decoupage Queens and Kings group, I have been putting a link in there for you all. And that is just the StreamYard link to let me see your name. Um, because what happens on my side is right here, Cherokee, if you see, it just comes up as Facebook user. So if you can click that link and authorize StreamYard to uh, let me see your name, they don't post on your wall or spam you or anything like that. It just literally gives me access to see who's putting in comments. But 
<laughs> Catherine uh, just joined us and she just says, I've never seen that ruler before. Where is yeah. that from? <laughs> I got mine on Amazon. Uh, but like uh, Terry said, Hobby Lobby might have them. Um, Michael's or, you know, any of your craft stores might carry it. Um, yeah, it's a it's a neat little gadget. Yeah, it's it's more or less used for for scrapbooking, and um, obviously you can interchange your supplies and use them however you need to. The only reason why I mentioned scrapbooking is just so you know where to find the ruler. But it, it's primarily in the scrapbooking section, and if you're looking on Amazon, you can even put like you know the scrapbooking tear rulers, um, and they, you'll, they'll pop up for you. It's the link is only in the decoupage uh, queens and kings group. The other, the everyone else, everywhere else is fine. It only happens in the group, so it's just happening to Cherokee and Cheryl. But I can see Ruth. I can see you, Jill. So yeah, it's just in the group. Okay. But yeah, see when I when I was talking to you at the beginning, I said I can't wait to see what tips and tricks you show us. And you you were saying I don't know if I have any, and you pull out this ruler, and now everybody is going, well, what what is this thing? What is that? <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, like I said, first time I've used it too. So it was a it was. I'm glad I remembered actually that I have it. And, and I was cleaning before, um, you know, before the live, my table, because you know how crafters tables can get quite messy. Oh, yeah. um, yes. And, and then I, I came across it and I was like, oh, and I almost put it up thinking, I don't know, I, I may not need to use it and just trying to get stuff out of the way. And I thought, no, I'm gonna keep it on here. Um, and I'm glad I did so because it, it, yeah, it's very handy. It is. And works, you know, the, the rice paper is, it has that weight to it that is perfect because it's not, it's not super thin to where it is so fragile, you know, uh -huh. it's, it's perfect. I love working with rice paper. It is, um, it's just my favorite because, you know, virtually no wrinkles. Right. You know, and it's just very easy to, you know, I hardly have any wrinkles on here. So I, I just love it. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to put paper back here. I think I'm going to do a stencil. Um, but I do have enough. I mean, I could. But I think I'm going to do a stencil back here. I thought I would just do maybe some, some flowers. Rennie, I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm sorry. Can, I, I, I don't know what that even means. Decoupage Queen is hosting Amy today. I, I'm not. I, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to. I'm not. I'm not sure what you're. Are you asking me a question or? <laughs> Drew Drusilla says, "Crafters' tables. Let's say crafters' rooms. They easily blow up." <laughs> This is just some, just a regular stencil, um, and I just like to use a, um, like a, a little 
crafter's knife or a petty knife or and I'm just using some iron paste and it's just going to give me this really pretty raised and I thought this color looked was going to look really pretty because it's kind of a reddish brown it yes and I thought it would look really pretty with that uh, the browns and the lavenders and it kind of has that same tone beautiful yeah i'm gonna have to uh seal it really good so that i don't ruin all this beautiful paper and and stuff with with throwing my paint brushes although i've gotten really good i used to be so bad about um cleaning my brushes i would throw them in a container of soapy water and just when the container was too full that I couldn't fit anymore is when I decided to wash it. <laughs> but I don't do that anymore. I wash them right away. Um, so I've gotten better. <laughs> oh, okay, Rennie. Yeah, no, we are streamed in a, in a few locations. So wherever it, you know, they prefer to watch, it's totally fine with us. As long as they're, they're on with us, we, we don't mind, but we are streamed all across Facebook on YouTube. We're all over the place. Oh my Here. gosh. Look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't that so satisfying when you, it when is. it comes off? <laughs> I love yes, it. when it when it comes off and it's not all smeared and like the way it is on the stencil. <laughs> yes, or or globbed in one area. Or I have my assistant over here to help me. He's taking <laughs> the, <laughs> he's taking the stencil for me. So yeah, but oh, that's just and it just goes so good with that. It almost matches that pattern. Yes, it does. Yeah. Everybody just loved that reveal. Yes. The comments are going crazy. So good. beautiful. Yeah. Oh and, my goodness. <laughs> and so, you know, on just on that, uh, the the pop it has on that white background. Yes. Is perfect. Yeah. So yeah, I may not want to um, put brushes in here. I don't know. I might <laughs> I might, want, I might want to use it for something prettier. You know, what also would be pretty um, is um, sachets um, to put like, make it like a little sachet box, you know. Have oh, little, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, which I, uh, I thought that would, be, and I had thought maybe I would do that, but. Um, Everybody but is asking where that stencil is from that you used on the back there. I'm pretty sure it was just on Amazon. Yeah, you just go in there, and and I think that is a twelve by twelve. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted, I remember, I wanted a bigger one, so it just looked for twelve by twelve um, stencils, and it there the there's so many to to pick from, but I'm pretty sure that that's where that came from. I'm just trying to. I think I'll do this one right here so here's another funny i have that iron paste haven't used it <laughs> but i'm loving how smooth it goes on that oh, is beautiful yes. and i can just uh paint over this little area but now the paint that I used um, has a sealer in it mm -hmm. so usually you can just wipe it off yeah so pretty much I could just wipe there it you off. Go. yeah so yes this um it yeah that is just the creamiest uh paste it's <laughs> Brenda's saying the same thing. I have iron paste, but didn't know how to use it. <laughs> well, I use the, is it the black or the more charcoal color? But I have this color and I have not, I don't think I've even opened it. Yeah, this is the, um, I believe it's the red. I think it says, yeah, let me look. I think it says red brown. Or red brown. On there. Yes. 
it's it's red brown yeah yep red brown yep and i'm so, looking at mine and nope i have not even opened it yet <laughs> let's put that on the desk <laughs> yes it is it's a pint art uh product Rennie. trying to decide Oop, ah, almost messed it up I'm going to get my dryer out real quick. Absolutely. <laughs> and it does, you know, this does dry relatively quick um, and it hardens. So it stays raised. Um, but I've left it on my stencils before and it's almost impossible to get it off. So. Yes. Yes. So you definitely want to rinse out your stencil right away after after you're done crafting. Don't leave it overnight like I did. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm tangled, so let me get the, let me get my, there we go. There we go. Thank, excuse me. Thank you, everyone who is doing all of the things. If you just, if you join us a little later, um, Decoupage Queen always gives away a goodie bag at the end of the creative hour. You just need to make sure you're following the painted spindle and following Decoupage Queen. And if you do miss any of the links that I've put in today, you guys, you know, in the description has all of the links, uh, how to find Amy. Um, decoupage queen, all the good stuff. So I think I'm going to do this. And I'm going to be careful because I don't want to, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess up my, even though it's, it's mostly dry, but A little bit, but we can always go and clean that out with the Q-tip or something. So I actually didn't even notice until you you said yeah. something. <laughs> well, good. Then maybe we won't even bother with the Q-tip. <laughs> I, I really didn't. I didn't even notice it. So it looks like Tina found this stencil on Amazon. So it's called oh. GSS Designs Peony Wall Stencil. Awesome. And Sandy Youngkin says, I love where you're going with this project. Really going to be pretty. Oh, thank you. Hello, Jackie Bates. Yeah. So... I don't know about anybody else, but I am always a very messy crafter. I've got it all on my arm. And <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I can paint a picture and it don't get it on me. I, I don't know what it is, but when I craft, I'm all into it. I'm going to give this a quick dry. <laughs> mm. 
Never, Sheila Teagan. Never. We never make messes. I've had someone tell me before, are you really doing anything if you have if you aren't messy? I'm like, well, then I guess I'm doing a lot. I'm always messy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so that looks awesome. I love it. So here's let's see. Here's the inside. And I wasn't gonna do anything on the bottom mm -hmm. just because that's you know where everything's gonna be sitting and then here is the the back beautiful here is this side i love that so i'm gonna do the other side the same way with those stencils but i want to put my words up here first um just in case we run out of time that way i've got um and i'm gonna put brushes up here because i think that's what i'm going to use it for although you can put you know you could put sachets i mean that would even be pretty just the uh -huh. word itself would be pretty on there sachets um and then i probably will uh paint the top of this like the edges a uh, a darker coordinating color just to kind of make it look finished right um, but yeah that's that's what I'm I'm thinking, but I'll start this. Yes, Robin, I see you. Um, Rennie, you know I I seal everything. Um, I know you. I seen you ask me that. It it I seal everything. Um, now Amy Rennie is asking you, do you seal the stenciling when you're done? Um, I will put a coating of of sealer or two on it uh just because if it, if it's going to be a functional piece where it's going to you know possibly get bumped and moved around mm -hmm. and stuff i do want to protect it um but yeah so i will put a uh, a sealer over it if it's something that you know it's really, it's only going to sit there to look pretty. It's not going to be functional. Then I probably would not. Um, but I would seal the paint or the, the, the rice paper for sure under it. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. But it, I guess it just depends really on what you're going to use it for. You know, and I'm going to have to dry each letter because. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't. Uh. <laughs> Sylvia, um, Sylvia is asking, what's your go-to sealer? Um, I, just a uh, polycrylic, you know, even just the, um, gosh, what is the brand? Um, I know you can get it at Walmart. Um, I use Minwax um, for the polycrylic. Yeah, yeah, it's, it could be Minwax. You know, I don't even know what brand, it, maybe it's Rust-Oleum. I think it's Rust-Oleum. Yeah, and Rust-Oleum has it yeah. too. Again, that, yeah, there's, there's yeah. a, there are a ton of sealers. Yes. Yeah, see, that's already pretty, pretty hard to wear. It's, I think I'll be good. 
it does it dries really really nicely and, and gives it a nice raised look i like that font yeah it's a it's pretty it's kind of mm -hmm. a cursive, kind of an old looking i love you know anything vintage and antique looking Yeah, sense. there's a ton of them. Bear, Valspar. It's it, it really, you know, Pintart has, we have them at Pintart. It just, again, a, a personal preference, you know. So, how is the weather today in California? It's actually, the sun is actually popping out. So we never know, though. You know, it could go away very quickly. <laughs> yeah, I think we were in the upper 70s today in Texas. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. The last couple of days we've been getting rain this morning. It was raining, but now the sun is out. It's, you know. <laughs> so now it's nice and hot and sticky. Yeah. You know, perfect. <laughs> Just perfect. That's an interesting looking you. It kind of looks like it's messed up, but that's, I looked at it. And I've seen you look at it twice, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it's supposed to look like. So very, very fancy. Yes. It's those vintage looking letters when they actually used to write them correctly. <laughs> right. I know, Robin. I don't know. This morning when we were, I too, it was taking Trevor to work, um, it was rainy and cold. I even had my gloves on and everything. Now the sun is out and it, you know, I don't know. It says it's 59 right now, but who knows what's in store. I think later on this week, we hit like, you know, high 70s, and then it drops back down into the, you know, 50s, 60s, and rings. So, yeah, you know, that's California. <laughs> yeah, we always joke about Texas weather. Uh, you have all, all four seasons in one day. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your is your heat, it's dry though, isn't it? We are humid. <laughs> are, oh, it's humid. Okay. Why did yes. I think it was dry? We are very humid. Sandy says, your brushes are going to feel so special. <laughs> so fancy. So Sylvia says she's originally from Texas and she misses Texas weather. And Sandy is asking, what part of Texas are you in? We are in South Central. It is, uh, we're in between uh, San Antonio and Houston. So we're Bryan College Station area, home of the Texas Aggies. I 
threw that in there. My husband is an Aggie and he's helping me. So <laughs> shout out to the Aggies. <laughs> So I just want to make note that I'm super impressed how straight you're getting this have, while it's sitting up <laughs> and you're sitting down. I would have to have it laying down, standing up over it. <laughs> well, uh, I think everyone's angle is is good because from my angle, I think I'm I'm going down just a tad. It's not too bad, though. No, it isn't. But those are some fancy letters. They are very fancy. Yeah. Okay, now them. I can see the U. I can yeah. see it now. It's it's different. I I don't know that I would have known that was a U. But but you know, I think it fits the 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 image. It does, Rennie. It reminds me of calligraphy, yes. Oh, you know, I had bought some calligraphy pens because I wanted to learn. I still would like to learn. Um, mm -hmm. But I know it's, you know, it, it's like you do a certain amount of pressure on the upstroke and then a certain amount on the downstroke. And right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's so pretty. So Lynn says, my son lives in Fort Worth and my aunt lives in Southwest and my aunt lives Southwest of Houston. I'm getting ready to plan a trip down there. My husband officially retired on Thursday. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. And Sandy said, I never thought I'd want to live in Texas, but I visited my brother in the hill country and oh, it was great. The hill country is beautiful. Um, that is, that's a very, very pretty area. Um, we just got back from a trip to, uh, it's, it's called Uncertain Texas. And it is, a uh, Caddo Lake is there. And their uh, lake is full of cypress trees and that they're covered in Spanish moss and it's just beautiful. And there's um, there's signs, beware of the alligators everywhere. So it was, wow. it, yeah, we take a yearly trip up there, but it's so pretty. You take, you know, you can take a boat tour and it takes you on the, on the lake and they kind of tell you a history of everything, but just it's all these cypress trees with all the Spanish moss hanging down. It's just really pretty. husband kept trying to get me to get in the canoe to take a a ride on the on the lake in a canoe but if there's alligators in there, I was just gonna say what the alligators <laughs> I don't think so because I would not be able I mean I know as soon as I get in the canoe I'll tip it over and yeah <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to the, the canoe's not enough there's not enough real estate in between me and where an alligator could be. <laughs> oh, that's a nightmare. Oh. So I just, I painted an alligator instead. <laughs> there you go. All right, almost there. I got one more letter to go. Yep, and I just got it all over my 
my fingers. This is a <laughs> tricky one here. You're getting closer to the edge, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, we did it. Woohoo! Woo. Now let me try to scrape it off of my my finger. <laughs> I got it all under my ring and everything. Oh, geez. Yeah. All right. Yeah, here's my here's my alligator. I painted that instead. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's as close as I want to get to an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm on the other side of the screen and that's as close as I want to get to the alligator. <laughs> yes. It's a, uh, it, it looks pretty uh, scary. I couldn't imagine seeing one in person. Oh, and then especially if you were in a canoe and fell out of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, that's yeah. what I mean. A canoe is not, a, not big enough. It's not enough protection. <laughs> No, not at all. So, yeah, this is a... So I'm just going to say, everybody loves your alligator. They think it's amazing. Oh, thank y'all. Thank you so much. This yeah, turned so, out awesome. I yeah, love, I love it. it. That paper is just beautiful. It's, it reminds me of an old vintage wallpaper in like a parlor of a house. Yes. Yes. yes, that's what that reminds. It's beautiful, and then there's the that that is just absolutely beautiful. It just matches everything. It does. It just goes with it. And then I'll do uh, the same over here that I did on the other side, and then you know put some dark. I could even brush the the iron mm -hmm. on there to to finish it off. That would be pretty. Or even use my my palette knife. Yeah, so yeah that would work. not so perfect, just kind of yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah, that works really good. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of gives it that old. Yes, like a worn, like yeah. a worn. Yep. Uh huh. I love that. Yeah. So that's how I'll finish it off. Perfect. And then that's, uh, yeah. So that's it. That's, that's my, my I brush love holder. it. Yeah. I love, it. love it. Thank you. And uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful papers on Decoupage Queen. I mean, I just, like I said, I had such a hard time picking which one I wanted to use. Just <laughs> beautiful papers. But I love this one. It's got that vintage look to it and. So it's just perfect. Now I have a beautiful, and I'll uh, I'll put a really thick. Uh, I have some stuff called triple thick that I think I'll use to seal it, um, since I am going to be using it a lot. So mm -hmm. putting the brushes in there, and yeah, yeah. Mo yeah. yeah. So if you want to take a second, do you want to put yourself back on camera? Yeah, sure. Hi everyone. See, isn't it? Fun having new folks on. We get to see amazing new things. I love it. See, I get uh, creative Hello. hours always super fun for me. There she is. Hello. Amazing. Thank so you. So everybody's saying how beautiful it is. And awesome. I can't remember. Uh, Sandy said she uh, was looking at your information and saw the beautiful dog you painted. So yes. um, is that your dog? It looks like a collie, maybe? Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Well, it is a, a mini Australian Shepherd. And so we have two. They both have dark eyes. This one resembles more our older one, Stuart. Um, it wasn't exactly him, but he was definitely my inspiration for it. 
Awesome. Yes. Well, I think I I mean, I loved your painting of the alligator. I would oh, I you. personally would love to see more. So I think you should get on more often and do yes. some painting with us all. So I I can um you know, we can learn as we go for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, and Absolutely. Learn together. <laughs> Absolutely. So as usual, everyone, thank you for yes. doing all the things. So let's do a little shuffle and spin the wheel. So I believe you said her name was Ruth, the oh, decoupage Ruth. factory. Yeah. So congratulations, I believe, Ruth. Congratulations. So Ruth, if you could please do me a favor and right here is my email, terry at decoupagequeen.com. Please email me your address and I'll send you out some decoupage queen rice paper. So congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations, Ruth. Yay. So Amy, thank you so very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. Absolutely. Well, everyone, we hope you have a great Easter weekend, whatever you may be doing. Thank you for joining us today. As usual, we really appreciate your time on Saturdays. We're here every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No matter if Terry does the wrong time, it's 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> so have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you all.